I start this video with an announcement really that uh, the vlogs that I do on match days are going to be slightly different at Premier League games from now on because on Friday I got a phone call from City telling me that the Premier League had said I can no longer film inside stadiums. So that means getting crowd atmosphere, speaking to people as they're in their seats or after the game or any celebrities that I bump into will now not be included in the vlogs. Everything has to be done before a game or after a game, but outside. How this is going to affect my vlogs, it's only going to affect the style. Uh, only time will tell, but uh, for the rest of the season at least, I'm going to continue on and um, have a look again at uh, where we go next season. So today, sit here, here at a stadium that they may not be playing in again. Obviously, if Everton were to be relegated, then this would be the last Premier League visit that City would have here because they'll be in the new stadium now near the docks. One thing I can do is I can show you the surroundings of grounds even more because I'm outside on the street. Well, this in theory could be your last visit to Goodison Park, couldn't it? Uh, if they get relegated. Very much so, Ian. And um, yeah, I think we've been here a few times. I think they do deserve a move and it's a nice old stadium but a bit like main road i think it's it did have last its day and yeah we should be glad to hopefully it will be the last time for us but no i just parked up at liverpool and i said to my mate who i traveled with everton will have a better ground than liverpool and city have got a better ground than united it's funny how things have turned around isn't it 100 on that one and yeah and uh, the anniversary of the 10 years they've not finished 10 seasons with 10 seasons we finished in front of them so yeah but yeah they're falling about they're falling down aren't they they need a big major rehaul united and the stadium is similar to this i think but there you go we're here today we don't know the team news as we're speaking here but there's a good chance pep's going to change a few are you worried about this one at all in the title race i think and i'm worried every game we go to on the old fashion blue as such and I don't take nothing for granted but I do think we've got to keep it pretty, pretty strong today. I, I, I know I realised when Madrid lost 3-0 weekend and rested everybody out of everything but yeah I realistically hope we can win get through this challenge because I think if we get through this challenge we're nigh on there. You confident? Um, I'd like to say yes, but I think it's going to be tough. And their, you know, their last game, the score didn't really ring true, but it happens. So you just don't know. But I think we should win. Hopefully, one hundred percent. Come on, City, let's have it. <laughs> this is the equivalent of City Square, the Everton version. About ninety seconds, I think, till I can give you the team news. So let's get some score predictions. Does anyone want to run over and give me a score prediction? It's a little one over there. Come over here, then. I think you've got an ice cream or something there. Run over here. Good lad. <laughs> oh, that looks lovely and delicious. It's perfect weather for ice cream, isn't it? What's your name? Um, Who's your favourite Everton player? Wobie. Wobie is cool, isn't he? And what do you think is going to happen today? Can you give me a score prediction? 3-0. Three 3-0. Nil. Three nil. Oh, we would take that, wouldn't we? 3-0. Thank you very much. Go and enjoy your ice cream because it's melting. Of course, this church will go once Everton relocate to the docks, but right next to it is a very distinctive church, a bit like the cottage at Fulham. Uh, whenever I come to this ground, uh, I always see it and I always recognise it. You can see it actually from inside the stadium. This is upstairs, this is a bit of an Aladdin's cave memorabilia, shirts and all sorts of things in here, which uh, is great. I was, even though I'm not an Everton fan, looking around here is really fascinating. A lot of history in here. Tell me how you're feeling today then. I don't know. I feel confident. Loads of people are saying we should be worried, but I think we'll do them today. Obviously, the team selection is key, isn't it? Yeah, I've just seen the team. I think he's gone pretty strong. No De Bruyne, but apart from that, Haaland's playing. Rodri's in. So, 
I'm, I'm fairly confident today. I, I think our toughest games are Brighton and Brentford after this, but I think we'll do them today. Do you like coming here to this ground? Because it might not be around much longer. I know. It's, to be honest, it's one of my favourites, this. Old school. It's one of the best grounds in the Premier League still. So hopefully, that's why I want to stay up. So we get at least another season here. 3-1. Easy. What well, gives you such confidence? Because obviously they've got a good City, aren't we? Brighton and the battling for no. the lives. Everton, Everton no. They're uh, rubbish. We'll beat them. Easy. 3-1. All in that trick. I am indeed. You got me, haven't you? I, mean, I, th I think we'll win. I think we'll win. I think I think it'll be two or three nil. Fairly confident. Yeah, yeah. confident. We're a better team, aren't we? I know. I know they're, they're struggling. Got a good win last week, didn't they? But we did, look, player for player, there's, there should be no no issues today. So not a victory for City. Uh, it's very important today. Um, let's forget Wednesday. Let's win today. Happy days. He's made changes again today, hasn't he? He's only made two, though, hasn't he? He's still made changes. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's saving, I, obviously, legs, isn't he? For yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, 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 did Brian know? Yeah, I can understand that. Um, we got, but I was expecting six or seven, and I'm glad he hasn't. Let's win today. Focus today. Today is our cup final. And then happy days. Let's take Wednesday when it comes. So I'm thinking a 3-1 free one, free one win, Harlan's getting a goal in there, not sure whereabouts, but he's getting it in. thinking 2-0 uh, you know our goals before them. So you're pretty confident today, both of you? Yeah, yeah confident. We're here, lucky charms. We're getting it today, aren't we? Yeah. Well, let's hope you do bring City some luck there. Hopefully, Blue Moon. Have fun. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> today, I'm thinking, uh, you know, we've left a couple of players out, which is understandable for the Madrid game. Um, I think we've got enough with um, the team we've picked. Probably, I think we'll edge it 2-0, two 2-1 nil, two maybe. They might get a goal on the break. But we have got, we've got proper quality in depth, haven't we? No, I, don't, I, can't see us, uh, I can't see us losing the game. This could be, if Everton were to go down, the last trip here to Goodison Park. I'm guessing that you might have been here before. Will you be sad to see it go? Oh, well, I'll be sad to see them go. I'm sad to, I've come today purposely because it might be my last time here. Um, because if they do go down, then the new stadium will be open. But, you know, lots of bigger and brighter things if they come back up. I hope they stay up, to be honest. We've got a lot of Evertonian friends. So, uh, yeah, I really hope they stay up here. You know what I mean? Fantastic, yeah, happy days. What is it? Two to go, two wins out of three. I think we're laughing, but not to be too confident, eh? How good was that, though, today? Fantastic, yeah. fantastic results. A bit worried before we got here, but now absolutely brilliant. Let's move on to uh, Wednesday night, see what happens. Fantastic. What fantastic. Everyone was worried about this game, ended up a complete comfortable win. Gunder won 300 appearances, club legend, especially after last season, but even more so now. Give him a blank check, give him what he wants, sign him up. It's happening. We said this week, draw in Madrid, win today, trebles on. It's happening. Gunderwin deserves at least another two years, doesn't he? Three, four, give him what he wants. Give him what he wants, give him a statue, give him a parking space, whatever he wants. Get that man signed up now. We have the we have but absolutely polished performance. Superb. The passing, these aren't any good anyway. So they expected to win today. But the way we passed the ball and attacked and defended and just warming up for Wednesday night, aren't we? Hey? Bring, bring Kevin Wednesday night. Here. The trebles on. People don't want to talk about that, do they? Well, I'm talking about it because to, to me, this was our hardest game. The way they played last week against Brighton. To do that to these, trebles on. In my lifetime, I've never seen that like it. I'm telling you. It's on. Eight side blues. Ian, the trebles on. Come on, blue boys. I think that was a, a tricky game today and we, we've bossed it start to finish. Thought it'd be difficult. Thought they'd be snapping in the middle. And they didn't come after us. They let us dictate the pace and we've won easily. Superb. Nearly there. Is it star man today? Uh, I like I like the defense. 
defence as a whole. I thought, I thought the defence as a whole just kept them at bay, and, and we did we did enough to to win the game. Uh, yeah, listen, the amount of times I've been here, first time was 1981. Been here for the semi-finals with your company as well over the years, but it's always good to come here. Massive hurdle today. I think we're over that now. Move on to Wednesday and then next uh, Sunday, Chelsea. Should be good. Keep it going. Fucking brilliant. I'm so, I'm so happy. We had four to go. We needed three wins. Now it's two. Pep was saying it, so I'm, I'm honestly I'm over the moon. It's the Whoa! Going to Madrid, we got a huge, huge game now, and now we've just got hope Arsenal drop some points against Brighton today. But yeah, massive. Oh, is that so? I thought you know the games are coming thick and fast for the lads, but so professional. I thought you know we took the pressure early doors, rested a few. The lads that come in never let us down. This is the city boys, isn't it? You know and. Pep's amazing, the squad are amazing, they're in it together, it's a proper team and collective team, fans, this is us. But we've been through, we've been through the hard times, me and you Ian, so Casper's 13, 14, he's only ever seen the good times. But it's coming thick and fast and just, yeah, amazing. Everyone, all of them, amazing today. Yeah, good, good results today, like um, last few months you know, we were a bit angry and stuff like that. I'll, I'll never change from that, but it's not over yet, you know what I mean? So we've still got to keep carrying on, keep winning games, and then the titles are ours. Simple as that. So another match nearer to winning the Premier League. A difficult test, I would suggest, ahead of this game, most people thought. I know there were some optimists, but City won it comfortably 3-0. And uh, only three games to go, two wins from three. As it stands, obviously, Arsenal playing later today. Uh, I'll be back, of course, for the midweek game against Real Madrid. That's the Champions League game, so uh, normal service resumed. But this is the new version of Vlog for, for uh, Premier League games. Is it OK? Do you like it? Do I carry on? Anyway, whatever. Isn't it great to be a blue?